Hey, level one. I wanted to take you step by step to at least begin adding your tertiary colors. Um, the tertiary colors as stated in your pack are in a lot of ways not exactly correct with the color wheel that we are doing. So um, what I need for y'all to do right now, we're going to label these tertiary colors, which are these small little circles here. So um, we have in between the red and the orange, we have red orange, you just can put RO. And you're going to, for that one, put orange first, then you're gonna put the red orange in your pack second. The next one is going to be yellow orange, YO. Uh, you'll end up putting the yellow first because it's the lightest color, and then just the orange second. For yellow green, you'll end up putting yellow first, the lightest color, and then the yellow green that is in your pack second. Uh, the next one we have is blue-green. You'll end up putting green first and then blue second because green is lighter than blue. The blue-violet, you'll end up putting blue first because it's lighter than violet and then violet second. Uh, the red-violet right here, RV, you'll put the red first and then the violet. Red is lighter than violet. So once you get those labeled, I'm going to start you guys off on value shading the red violet. The purpose of, of this is after you have your primaries and your secondary colors filled in in these little sections, you're going to try to match just your base color with what you already have here. So when we apply the red, it should be the same red or the same intensity of red as you see right here. So I'm gonna do just like what I've been doing before. I'm gonna take this red and I'm gonna outline. I'm just, um, trying to get it to the edge. It's really light, so I've outlined. Do your horizontal lines right here. Do your vertical lines. And then you can do your scumbling, your little circles. I'm starting from the edge really tight. And then I'm moving in. There. Check to see that they match. You may have to add a little as we go, but the base tone should be the same as this red. So. We're gonna go with violet here or purple. We'll outline, I'm outlining light, just like I did with a red. Purple is tricky because it's automatically dark. Um, what may happen is you may have to add a little bit of red on top of it after you do this, uh, just simply because it is darker. But we're starting out trying to match that violet that's already there. So after we outline, we're just going horizontal with our lines and I'm going very very light with the purple here. I think I picked up some of that wood grain on this thing so if you see a streak that's what's going on. I'm going up and down right here um, and then I'm doing my circles. The best way to control the violet is to press down as light as possible uh, when you're working with it. And what you're trying to do is get the same amount of red as you see the violet. And I know that's a, kind of a hard thing to do. This is probably the hardest color to mix up. Um, so 
when you look here, there is quite a difference um, between the violet and the and the red. You see there is a break here. Um, this to me looks relatively balanced between the two and that's what you should gauge as you're working. So I hope that helps. We'll end up doing some more as we go.